Well, more than half a million Hoosiers who rely on food stamps to help feed their families need to pay closer attention to their budgets because of the shutdown. Yeah, the state said the federal government will be paying out people for February earlier than normal, and it's unclear when these families will get their next round of payments. News 8's Eric Feldman joins us now and after talking with some Hoosiers around the state who are, I imagine, pretty concerned here. Yes, lots of conversations are going to be happening around kitchen tables about budgets. Basically what we're dealing with here, people who will be getting two months worth of food stamps right now. So this has families worried about their budgeting and what could happen if the shutdown goes on for an extended period of time. They're stay-at-home moms, they're disabled, they're full-time workers, just trying to make ends meet. These are some of the Hoosiers, faces of a program that tens of millions of Americans use. It's geared to help low-income people and families. You have to make a certain amount to qualify, and then you get some government assistance to eat healthier food. It's called SNAP, or food stamps. You get a card to buy this food at most grocery stores, as you can see from this map. The gridlock in Washington means these families are going to have to do some extra math and tightening of their budgets and maybe meals to make ends meet. On January 19th, Hoosiers will get their SNAP benefits for February. But after that, it's unclear when the next payment could come if the shutdown goes through February. We reached out on social media to get the stories of Hoosiers who use SNAP. Debbie Wethington from Greenfield has fought kidney cancer twice and is diabetic. She gets $192 a month but is worried because she's on a special diet. Expensive and hard to budget, she says. Jennifer Anderson lives in Versailles with her husband and six children. She's a stay-at-home mom because she says daycare is too expensive. Her husband brings in the sole income. She says they're used to spreading the use of every dollar, but the early February payment will test that further. And these are just a couple of the stories we've heard. One woman who wished to remain, remain anonymous told us she recently went on to food stamps because she reduced her hours at work. She's going back to school to go back into education. And she says she needs to feed herself and her child. And food stamps was the way for her to transition careers here as she goes back to school and reducing her hours. So that, that's, you know, an example where, right. you know, you hear a lot of people say, oh, this is just something where people are taking advantage of it, but someone who really just needs it for a short period of time. And how can they prepare for the reality that maybe they're not going to get their SNAP benefits in February, maybe even beyond that? Well, you know, some people we talked to online said that what they're going to be doing is they're going to be restraining because they're getting two months worth for one month. So okay. it's about making sure you're staying on budget. But then if it goes beyond February, then whole new set of questions. All right, Eric. Thank you. We'll stay on top of the story for you.